This video gives a brief introduction to Epigee Technologies. We were founded in the year 2000, a private company uh, supporting uh, roughly around 40 employees today, a portion of the company in Plano, Texas, uh, and also a, a group of support uh, and hardware and software engineers based in Armenia, Yerevan. Uh, we manufacture all of our products in Dallas, Texas, and they're all shipped from the headquarters here as well. All of our products are sold exclusively through distributors. Uh, we do not have uh, any direct sales, so that way we can make sure that all, all margins are kept, uh, kept safe and also helps us effectively manage and support uh, our channels more efficiently. Uh, all of our products are designed on an open standards base, uh, but all of, all of the solutions are um, purpose-built hardware products, and all the software is also on development. So you have the reliability of a solution developed all in-house, but the flexibility of the open standards technology giving resellers, customers the ability to you know, latch on unique features, pieces of software, or have the product behave in a unique fashion for their needs. All, uh, we sell globally today, all across uh, the globe, uh, supporting all those distributors directly from either, uh, either the two headquarters offices for Epigee. Um, and all of these uh, countries are supported by Epigee. All the distributors are who are trained and certified by our team in-house. Um, a few images here you'll see on the screen are the uh, latest two awards. Again, we manufacture um, IPPBXs, that's the uh, voice side, the uh, voice control products, gateways to add um, either FXO, ISDN, or U1T1 FXS ports to an existing IP network or to attach to legacy systems to IP enable, as well as external conference bridges for offices that just need that feature. So just a quick review of some of the benefits of this technology. Um, you know, today there is still light cost savings for moving to voice over IP, especially for office environments that span more than one location. The ability to call between offices uh, for, for little to no cost, um, having the efficiency of, of Having a three or four digit dialing plan also enhances uh, a work environment and also keeps it simple for the employees to reach other members of their team, whether they're one office down or across across the continent. You know another advantage of of the idea of VoIP and, and voice over IP phones is the flexibility of, of where these users can be. Either I can be behind my desk with my IP phone or on the road with my cell phone and still being able to access the office to gain the same features that I would normally have behind my desk also from my cell phone or my laptop on the road. For example, um, you can pair your cell phone number to your extension in the office and when you call into the office you can issue uh, star commands to either enable or disable call forwarding, for example, specific to your extension without having to log in or anything like that. So it makes it really easy for external users to still uh, take advantage of the features and, and power of uh, an IP system that is normally uh, hosted inside the company. So what we're looking at now is just a, a kind of a bird's eye view of the IPPBX of the telephone systems that control your voice network. In the bottom left hand corner you'll see the 2X moving to the 6L. Both of these products go up to roughly 16 users. The next range is the 8L and 26X which go from about 32 to 100 users. And then above that is the 32X which can scale all the way up to uh, 200 users. All these products have a very high density uh, IP phone support, but they also offer, as you can see, some legacy connections for either analog telephones or FXO, E1T1, PSDN connections. 
um, if a customer decided not to move to VoIP on the uh, external network side. With the gateways, this is also a very important aspect of the portfolio. Uh, this gives customers the ability to, in some cases, uh, maybe not completely replace their existing telephone system today, but can attach a uh, gateway to remove maybe an expensive E1T1 they had and move to uh, a voice uh, of an internet protocol uh, service provider. Uh, that way a customer can not necessarily replace their entire voice network today, but can get some of the cost savings um, from using a, an ITSP. Another situation is, is let's say you've decided to move your main office to, to VoIP and you've got um, a 32X, for example, running your headquarters office, but your remote sites are still on uh, legacy analog devices, you could easily install a in, in small gateway, uh, an FXO gateway or even an FXF gateway to um, connect the, the remote office to the core office, giving them a VoIP connection between the two, even though the remote offices are not have not been replaced with VoIP products. So there's a lot of uh, benefits of also using using these gateways. All of these products um, work very well, obviously, with the with the Epigee IPPBXs, but are also purely standards based and can work with any um, VoIP PBX in the market, as well as the traditional connections uh, to a legacy system.